What is going on, Jerome's? Happy draft day out there to those who celebrate a firing up draft day with Kevin Costner. It's good times, man. And we're going to do our one and only first round mock draft. Now, I, I hear what you're saying. It's like, well, you, bro, you do a mock draft every single day. But no, that's a Vikings, usually seven rounders. Uh, this is our one and only first round mock draft. So let's go up at the top. Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, I, I do believe the hype. I, I do believe the hype that they are fully in on <sighs> Trevon Walker. Well, why does PFF have him 12? I understand. I, I think that the Jaguars are going to bet on the physical freak Trevon Walker. That means that the Lions, they need to sprint up to the podium. If they take the full 10 minutes, I'm going to be pissed. They need to take Aiden Hutchinson, number two, uh, coming out of Michigan. Keep him in state. Three, Texans. Texans can go a lot of different positions here. Uh, offensive tackle, yes, they have the choice. Cornerback, yes, they have the choice. But I actually believe that they're going to bet on Derek Stingley. Uh, I, I do believe that they're going to go Derek Stingley Jr. up at three. Above sauce, a little bit surprising, but Nick Casario, he, he sees the upside of Derek Stingley Jr., even though sauce is no slouch either. The Jets at four. I think that they're not going to be stupid at all. Like, if Sauce gets there to four, uh, Rob Salah is a defensive uh, back mine. So, yeah, he's going to take uh, a shutdown corner so uh, fortunately it's our nightmare for uh as a vikings fan top two cornerbacks off the board in the first four picks but it sort of is what it is giants now the giants could go a lot of different directions here they have the choice of the offensive tackles uh they could go safety they could go edge rusher as well uh but they're gonna stick here they're gonna take Ike Ekwanu. they already got andrew thomas now Ekwanu can play right tackle for them maybe take over left tackle if thomas uh his second year rebound was an aberration uh but they're betting on the physical upside six Oh, also, there's no trades in this first round. We're just going to stick and pick. Six. So now the Panthers are in a, a, a dilly of a pickle where they could take quarterback, yes, but, I mean, they, they sort of committed to Sam Darnold, but is that going to keep their jobs for Matt Rule and Scott Fritterer? But I don't know. They're between a rock and a hard place. I actually do think that they're just going to stick and pick and take a great offensive lineman. They'll pick up – well, they could go Evan Neal. They could go Charles Cross. Yeah, but Evan Neal in this spot. They already got Taylor Moten, who's a fantastic right tackle. So now they got bookend seven. Giants on the clock. So they got Equanu at five. And now I think they're going to go a little edge. And no, it's not going to be Thibodeau. It's not going to be Karlaftis. Ooh. I don't know. Well, why are they so down on Jermaine jo How is Jermaine Johnson the second, 32nd uh, in this spot? But. Yeah, Jermaine Johnson, the pride of Eden Prairie, Florida State Seminole, Flor uh, former George. Uh, so and that Georgia defense, they had Jermaine Johnson and Aziz Ujolari and all the jabronis there. Just amazing. Just amazing there. So Giants, big blue. Uh, they go with both trenches. Uh, eight. So now the Falcons are in an interesting spot because they could go uh, a lot of different spots. They could go quarterback. Uh, they go offensive line for sure. Uh, but w what, what do we need here? What do we need? Hmm. Uh, I think. The board, the way that it is, I mean, they could go Hamilton. They could go edge rusher as well. Wide receiver makes a ton of sense. Um, yeah. All right. So we're going to go wide receiver. We're going to go Garrett Wilson. G-Dub because uh, Calvin Ridley, uh, not so much. Nine. So the, the Seahawks are in an uh, interesting spot. So top two cornerbacks are off the board. Uh, they could certainly use offensive linemen. Charles Cross would make a lot of sense. Thibodeau would make a, a ton of sense as well, keeping him in the Pacific Northwest. But. But I don't think that they can help themselves, even though it, you're trying to replace Russell Wilson. I understand that. But Malik Willis, come on down. Come on down, man. First quarterback off the board. I love it. Ten. So the Jets, they already got Sauce Gardner. And I, I think I, I think Rob Salah wants to double down on defense, especially given the way that this board has broken. So I, I think that they'll go Thibodeau at ten, stopping his draft day slide. Uh, Washington Commanders at 11, Commies. I think that Kyle Hamilton makes too much sense in this spot. They could use a lot of help on the back end. So Kyle Hamilton is heading to D.C. Now the Vikings, like, like we said, we're going to stick and pick here. And it's it's close. All right, so Charles Cross, even though you're, you're good at tackle, play him at guard, sure. Jamison Williams, fantastic, except you have to wait for a year. But that world-class speed is unmatched. Carl Aptis is there. A London can contribute right away. Trent McDuffie, uh, PFF is extremely high on. Devin Lloyd, etc. So... What do we want? What what do we want? It does come down to. It's so close. It for me, it's between Jamison and, and Trent McDuffie. 
I'm going to gamble. No gamble, no future. I'm taking, uh, jumping Jamison Williams, man. Yes, you have to wait for after that ACL, but world-class speed. He would have been clearly wide receiver one in this draft if he had stayed healthy. So, yeah, banking on um, JJ and Jamison long-term, yes. 13 Texans. So, the fact that Charles Cross gets to this point is just a dream, just an absolute dream for them. The Ravens. So, interesting spot for the Ravens. Carl Aftis makes sense. McDuffie makes sense. Uh, Jordan Davis makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'm actually going to go Jordan Davis here. He, he just seems like a Raven, doesn't he? Uh, 15. So you're looking at the Eagles. They have a, a number of positions of need. They certainly do. Uh, I think Carl Aftis getting to this stage of the draft is too much value. There we go. 16, the Saints. They're not going to F around. They ain't going to F around. They, they could wait and try and groove a quarterback at 19, but they're not going to wait. I'm uh, going to take Desmond Ritter, who I think is probably the most you know, pro-ready quarterback. I think that he would challenge Jamison right away. It wouldn't shock me if he started. So there you go. 17, the Chargers. Thanking their lucky stars that we're living here today. Then uh, Trevor Penning. Wow, PFF's down Trevor Penning. Anyways, the pride of Clear Lake, Iowa, the pride of Northern Iowa, headed to LA. Uh, 18, so the Eagles, uh, the second of two first round picks, and the fact that McDuffie j is just there, just chilling, but it's spicy. It, it is spicy, but I'm going to go Drake London in this spot. So, Jalen Hurts has got a tall receiver as well as Devontae Smith. They're trying to trade Jalen Rieger, so who knows. 19, 19. So uh, the Saints have their quarterback of the future. Do they go wide receiver? Do they go offensive tackle in this spot? So uh, let, let, let's explore their space. Raymond is there, sure. Olave makes a, a ton of sense. Zion Johnson can play some tackle as well. Let, let, let's let's throw a curveball. Let's throw a curveball all, all up in there. Tyler Smith coming on in. Uh, so Feisty gets after it. I think he walks in, replaces Taron Armstead, and he just gets it, man. It just gets it. So it's a nice draft for the Saints. So you, you, you buy the house, and then you get the insurance right there. 20. So, yeah, Steelers pretty damn happy that they're able to keep Kenny Pickett, Kenny Two Gloves, uh, in the great city of Pittsburgh. There you go. 21. So 21 for the Packers, or not the Packers, the Patriots. I, there's a lot of different ways that they could go here. Devin Lloyd makes a ton of sense. McDuffie makes sense. Nicobe Dean just seems like a Patriot. O Olave, of course. Uh, I'm going to go with Olave uh, in, in this situation. Uh, Belichick has not been great at drafting wide receivers, but I think Olave is essentially a can't miss. 22 Packers. So now th they've had a lot of wide receivers plucked in front of them, but, I, man, they are down on Traylon Burks. Man, but Traylon, Traylon is just that dude. Traylon's going to fight for every single ball. I love me some Traylon Burks. 23, uh, the the Cardinals keeping it Washington in the secondary because they got Buda Baker as well as uh, Byron Murphy. So Trent McDuffie, come on in. Draft day slide is halted. 24, the Cowboys. Offensive line is a big-time need as well as defensive line and linebacker. Uh, I think Devontae Wyatt, too much value at this stage. They need to re replenish the coffers there. Uh, then 25, so the Bills. The Bills are in an interesting spot. So wide receiver, yes. Uh, defensive line, yes. Um, linebacker, and, and not really much to a degree. But checking out the wide receivers. Actually, no, we're going to go. Let's get nuts. Even though PFF is going to hate it. PFF is going to hate it. Do not care at all. Run it back. Brees Hall joining the B Buffalo Bills. I mean, the Bills have thrown a ton for a reason because Zach Moss, Singletary, none of them have really stepped up. Brees Hall, I think, can be that difference maker, a true three-down running back in this draft. 26. So the Tennessee Titans, uh, whatever the hell is going on with A.J. Brown, who really knows, but they need help. They need help all along the offensive line. Tyler Lindebaum, draft day slide stops. So he can play some guard. They can move Ben Jones to center. Uh, ben Jones to guard, excuse me. He can play some center, etc. They can figure things out. Uh, 27, the Bucks. Uh, this one makes uh, too much sense. Too much sense. Where Zion Johnson having a ZJ. Uh, um, offensive line is, especially at guard, is a big need. Kappa went, uh, as well as Ellie Marpet retired. Uh, 28, the greasy, grimy, green bat Packers. So they took our guy, Traylon Burks. It hurts. It hurts, man. All right, so checking out the offensive line. Raymond is there. Do we just give him Raymond? All right, so uh, Bernard Raymond, former tight end, small school guy. It has sky-high potential, except is going to need a little bit of time to settle in. But Raymond here uh, at 28 for the Packers. Back-to-back -back picks for the Chiefs. So now 
couple of ways that they could go here. Cornerback is a need, yes. Safety is a need, yes. Uh, wide receiver, yes. So here's what we're going to do. Here is what we're going to do. We're we're going to bet on the absolute physical upside of Christian Watson. There you go. Going to the Chiefs. Uh, as well as cornerback-wise, we're, we're, we're going to get spicy. Uh, we're we're going to get spicy. So Jalen Petrie, they, they have needs at corner and safety. Jalen Petrie can play both. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, so the Bengals, the Bengals, uh, they address offensive line in free agency. So now, I mean, they could go a lot of different directions here. Uh, those aren't really their needs. Uh, but Andrew Booth Jr., uh, Trey Waynes didn't work out. Eli Apple certainly did not work out. So Andrew Booth Jr. adds some uh, length on the outside. And then the Lions at 32. I mean, there's a lot of ways to go. Devin Lloyd, N'Kobe Dean, yes. Uh, Lewis Seen, yes. Sky Moore. Would be fantastic, George Pickens, but I, I don't think that the Lions can help themselves. I, I don't think that they can. Matt Corral, come on down. Four quarterbacks in the first round. Let's go. Let's go, man. Matt Corral, sit behind Jared Goof for a hot second. Uh, so take a look at our mock draft, zooming in and enhancing. Zooming out and enhancing, rather. All right, there we go. Not yeah, close enough. All right, so... First round, up at the top, we got Trevon Walker going to the Jaguars. Hutchinson, run that card in for the Lions. Stingley, ooh, spicy. Sauce Gardner back-to-back -back going to the Texans and Jets, respectively. Ike Iquanu going to the Giants, as well as Jermaine Johnson the second at 5-7. and seven. Uh, Evan Neal, they could have gone quarterback, but I, I think they're just like, damn the torpedoes. Just get a fantastic offensive lineman, see what Sling and Sam Darnold can do. Probably not much. Uh, Garrett Wilson, need to replace uh, Ridley. Uh, they're going to build around Mariota, possibly target a quarterback in the second round. Malik Willis, the break the seal on quarterbacks. Seahawks pick up Malik Willis to replace Russell Wilson. Thibodeau, his draft day slide stops at 10. Hamilton goes to the commies. Jamison Williams. It was between Jamison and our guy McDuffie. <sighs> We're betting. We're, we're no gamble, no future, man. Charles Cross uh, going to the Texans. Jordan Davis to the Ravens. Uh, George Karlaftis, Greek Freak going to the Eagles, as well as uh, Drake London uh, and their two first-round picks. Desmond Ritter, 16, to the Saints. Uh, I think that he does start right away. Trevor Penning is going to be the immediate right tackle starter for the Chargers. Uh, Tyler Smith is going to be the left tackle for the Saints. Kenny Pickett, uh, Steelers are just like, yeah, we'll take it. We'll take him. Uh, and then Chris Olave going to the Patriots, uh, spicing up uh, some weapons for Mac Jones. Trey Lon Burks goes to the Packers, which sucks because now I have to hate him. Trent McDuffie going to uh, Arizona. Devontae Wyatt uh, shoring up the defensive interior. Uh, him and uh, OC uh, Odigizua, uh, the pride of UCLA, uh, getting after it with the Cowboys. Brees Hall, first round running back. That's right. Uh, PFF sub subscriptions on everyone. Uh, going to the Buffalo Bills, adding a spark to that Bills offense. Tyler Lindebaum going to the Tennessee Titans. Zion Johnson getting a ZJ in Tampa Bay. Uh, Raymond, Raymond, uh, coming in for the Packers, trying to be that right tackle. Uh, Chiefs back to back, Watson and Petrie. Two absolute physical freaks. Uh, Andrew Boo Jr. adding some length at corner for the Bengals, as well as Matt Corral, quarterback one of the future for the Detroit Lions. But that is it. That is our one and only first round mock draft. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.